Hello and welcome to this brief episode of Google Sheets tutorial with Syed. In this episode, we will take a look at the ifs function with multiple conditions. On this workbook, I have two sheets. See it is where I will demonstrate. Practice data set is for you to watch and practice. So here we go. In the see it sheet, I have four conditions that I want to test. The first condition I would like to test is check if the tenure of the employee is below three years. If yes, I do not want to give out any bonus. I want that value to be multiplied with zero. And if it is between three and five, I want the tenure to be multiplied by 100. And if it is between five and 10, I want it to be multiplied by 300. And anybody who is above 10 years, I want that value to be multiplied by 500. So let us take a look how we can achieve this. Let's place our cursor in the cell D2 and type in equal to IFS. That's the function I want. I can press the tab on the keyboard to complete this function or click on that function to put that function in the cell. The syntax of this function is pretty straightforward. It takes the condition first, test it. And if the test is true, it will return the value. If not, it will move on to the condition two and so on. So the first condition I would like to test is check if this value is less than three. If it is, I want this tenure to be multiplied with zero, comma. In the second part, I would like to test whether the tenure is between three and five. Let me close this one. I want to see whether this cell is between three and five. To do that, I will call the AND function right here. Open the bracket. Select this cell, check if it is greater than three, comma. Select the same cell again and check if it is less than five. If both these conditions are true, then I want this cell to be multiplied with 100, comma. If that is not true, move on to the next condition. What is my next condition? Check if this is between five and 10. So to do that, I will call the AND function one more time. Select this one, greater than five, comma. Select the same cell again. Test if it is less than 10. If both these conditions are true, select this cell into 300. If this is not true, we will test the final condition. That is select this cell and Test if it is greater than 10. If yes, select the cell again into 500. Close the bracket and press enter. Now I can drag this down. There we go. You can see I have this employee with less than three and hence the value zero. Let me change this to one and see what happens. There you go. So let me just undo that and there we go. So this is how we make use of the ifs function to test multiple conditions inside Google Sheets. Practice as much as you can to retain this learning. In the next episode, we will explore more dimensions of Google Sheets. Stay connected. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you and have a very lovely day. Stay happy, stay lovely. Until next time.